guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a super, super, super exciting video. Not only is this a look that I love, it is a classic gold smoky eye highlighted to the guads skin and a bright red lip. This video is actually in collaboration with Sleek. I know I've worked with them loads before, but this time Sleek have chosen me to pick my three top picks for their Sleek Bloggers Favourites campaign, which will be in Boots. This is so, 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 so exciting. So you guys can shop my three top picks that you'll see throughout this video. I wonder if you guys can guess what they are. You can shop all three at Boots for just $19.99, which is amazing. You guys know I love Sleek. They are such a lovely company to work with and not to mention that their products are some of my favourite and go-tos already. So yeah, I really hope you guys like the look of this makeup. It's obviously going to be a classic Rachel look because these are like my favourite products so it's obviously going to be a look that I love and would wear. Make sure to check the description for all the kind of links to everything. I've listed all the products down below and like I said, definitely head to Boots to shop my blogger's favourites. And I'm the blogger. Yeah, so if you like the look of this makeup look, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Definitely follow me and Sleek and Boots UK to keep updated with everything else that's going on. And without me rambling on, because obviously I'm just really excited right now, please keep watching. I keep my time in a pocket. So I've just gone ahead and primed my eye and done my eyebrows, but to finish off my eyebrows, I'm just gonna take the Sleek Brow Intensity in the shade Light. I'm just gonna run the spoolie through my eyebrows because if you're like me, I, with like my blonde hair, I quite like to have a slightly darker brow to like match with my roots. But then I like to put like a light brow tint over the top just to kind of match the blonde. So this is perfect to do that. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna use the other end of the brow intensity and just use that to highlight my brow bone. Cause I really feel like doing quite like an intensely shimmery brow bone highlight. So this is gonna be a good primer for that. And it's at a slight angle as well. So it makes it really good to like get underneath. And then you can drag it down. So with that done, we can now move on to eyeshadow. Now this is one of my top three picks. It is the eyeshadow palette in A New Day, and it looks like this. I'm in love with all the colors on here. They're so warm. There's a range of matte and shimmer tones, and I feel like I can create like a really gorgeous everyday look with this, and also can take it into the nighttime. I feel like this is a perfect eyeshadow palette for like beginners as well, because all the colors are super kind of neutral and warm, and really complementary to like literally every eye color, which is why it's one of my faves. So for our initial transition colour, I'm just going to mix this cream shade and this shade here as kind of like an initial warm brown transition. And I'm just going to buff that into my crease using a big fluffy brush and using kind of back and forth motions. On a slightly smaller fluffy brush, I'm just going to use the brown shade, not mix it with the light one, and just use that to further deepen up the crease. Then I'm going in with the dark brown shade here from the same eyeshadow palette and kind of mixing it between the brown as well just so it's initially quite soft and I'm going to use that to give it a bit more of a smoky glam look. If you've never tried sleek eyeshadows, I definitely recommend picking up one of their palettes. They honestly have a palette for like everyone, like if you're into maybe more pastel colours or more smokier colours, like more like cool tone colours, there's literally one for everyone or like if you prefer more colour they have loads. You guys know me, I love a warm smoky eye which is obviously why this made it into my top picks. I'm just gonna use circular motions to buff that in and then out. And then just going back in with our initial fluffy brush and just diffusing out the edges. For the lid colour, I am going to take this gorgeous gold here. It's like a really soft gold colour. And I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. I kind of like to use back and forth motions and then like little patting motions just to really build up the colour. Just kind of taking it three quarters of the way across. Then going back in with our medium fluffy brush and just dipping it slightly a mix between a couple of the brown shades and just diffusing the lid with the crease colour. And then going back in with the brush that we used for the dark brown and then picking up a little bit more of the dark brown, just reapplying that so it's super intense and we haven't lost any of the colour or anything. So we've kind of got that nice classic gold gradient 
This is such a me eye look, isn't it, honestly? I'm then gonna highlight my inner corner and brow bone using this colour here. It's a really intense kind of pearly shimmery colour. So before I do any kind of eyeliner, I always just like to highlight those bits first. And then under the brow as well. So that brow sculpt that we use kind of acts as like a nice primer. So the highlight can appear a bit more like intensely. Amazing, so once you're happy with the way that your eyeshadow looks, obviously it's not 100% finished yet, I'm just gonna take a wipe and wipe away and I kind of end towards the tail of my brow. That's why I kind of like doing my eyebrows first because um, it gives a nice kind of guideline where I, want, where, I want, where I want my wing to kind of go and the angle of it. So once you've done that, I'm now gonna go ahead and apply my winged eyeliner and for that I'm gonna use the Sleek Dip It Eyeliner in black. The brush on this is really good for like getting in the inner corner because it's really kind of firm and tapered which is good if you're not 100% confident in that part. Now I'm just going to do the wing so using like the bottom of the eyeliner as like a guide but it's still okay obviously if it's not 100% because we've not done our skin yet so you can use the wipe to clean it up. And then I like to look down. Once you're happy with your liner, I'm then just going to clean up the bottom of it again with a wipe and really kind of use my nail to get a super sharp edge. So once you're happy with the eye makeup, you can go ahead and apply mascara and lashes to complement the look. This is kind of what the top of the eyes look like. So a really classic glam, totally me. So a really gorgeous gold smoky eye. But I did go ahead and just do my base real quickly and set my under eyes because I just wanted to finish off the eye look. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply the dark brown shade that we used in the crease and just really lightly... Press this up into my lash line. I'm then just going to take that fluffy brush that we used in the crease with the medium brown shade, which was this one here, and I'm just going to pick up a tiny bit more of that colour, just kind of on the top of the brush, and just kind of buff that colour in. This is just going to really smoke it out and make it appear a lot softer. So I just went ahead and applied bottom lash mascara and these are the finished eyes. Like I said that a new day eyeshadow palette is in my top three picks. I'm obsessed with it. Like I also said you can take it from a day to a night look. It doesn't have to be as kind of intense and as glam as this but you guys know me and this is right up my street so yeah I love these kind of eye looks. Moving on to the skin I'm going to take the face form in the shade medium and kind of mix these two colours together and this is kind of going to act as our like bronzer and contour. The slightly warmer shade has a really nice shimmer to it, so I love that. But I'm literally just dabbing them lightly in both. Put it everywhere, honey. Okay, once you've applied your bronzer, I'm now going to apply blusher. And again, this is another product that I love. This is the Rose Gold Blusher from Sleek, obviously. I always say this, I'm not a massive blusher wearer. So anything that's kind of more of like a peachier, goldier, warmer tone, I really, really like. So this is number two on my top picks and it is the infamous Sleek Highlighting Palette in Cleopatra's Kiss. I love this one. It's much more of like a bronzier one and way more up my street. I always go on about this. It's literally one of my favourite products of all time, not even necessarily just from Sleek. If you've never tried it before, I 100% recommend trying it. It honestly, it just makes your hair like pop. So I'm just going to kind of mix between both colours because I am just that extra. I like to take a little fluffy brush to do this. You see, this is why I love it so much. Oh, yes, give it to me. And then I just like to take the slightly lighter shade and put that in the center of my nose and like in between my brows and down the bridge of my nose. And then the slightly bronzier shade just on my cupid's eye. 
So again, the Cleopatra's Kiss Highlighting Palette is one of my top picks. It speaks for itself, it's honestly amazing. And now onto my final pick. So to go with this kind of classic glam look, I know you're probably thinking I would have gone with a nude, but I thought that's kind of so typically me. What other things do I literally love? And it is a red lip. When I'm doing like a classic glam look, I love a red lip. It is my go-to for a bold color. I'm pretty sure literally all the red lip looks I've done is using this one. The Sleek Matte Me in, is it Rioa Red? I think it's that. I always struggle to pronounce it anyway. But this is my final top pick. I love the Matte Me range in general. I think it's a really gorgeous formula. They last a long time as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this to my lips. Working in makeup, you learn about tones and colours and the, there's so many different tones of each shade. Like there's loads of different tones of red. You can get more like a blue tone red or like an orange tone red or a pink tone red. And for me, this, if you've got blonde hair and blue eyes like me or a similar complexion to me, then I 100% recommend this one. It's literally my go-to favourite red. So this is the finished makeup look. Obviously a classic gold smoky eye that you guys know I love. Really highlighted skin and a bold red lip. Honestly, one of my favourite looks to do. I'm so, so honoured to be part of this sleek makeup bloggers campaign for boots if you really love this makeup i've listed all the products down below and you can shop the, my three top picks so the eyeshadow palette the cleopatra's kiss highlighting palette and also the liquid lipstick exclusively at boots i've left all the links down below for that so defo head to boots to check them out i really 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 hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i did i had so much fun creating this look it's obviously one of my favorite looks to do make sure to give this video a massive thumbs up make sure to follow me sleek and boots obviously to keep updated with everything make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already again thank you guys for this amazing opportunity i really hope you guys love it as much as me and i will see you in the next video bye guys